Nice. Devil rail by devastation from mid. Death row finally answered. Now you could hear the scream. A little late with that shot. Um, better play would have been to spam more rockets and and really punish uh, and make uh, devastation think twice about even picking up that item. But so far, um, yeah, solid Death comeback from Death Row. Sneaky. Yeah, great, great comeback from Death Row, and he's able to pull up that frag, bring it within one. Let's go watch Devastation on the recovery one more time. He will be able to get that yellow armor, and he's going to botch that jump. He's picking up a shotgun. Uh, that was actually a good thing. Uh, not much to challenge for Mega here, but he's going to try it. He is able to do so. Death Row not... Uh, where he should be to block that mega grab. Uh, his timing seemed to be a little bit off. Ooh, and that ro that uh, botched rocket is gonna hurt as well. He shot himself nice. in the toes. And Devastation Cut. did the smart uh, thing there. Yeah, nice rock there. Yeah, it, Devastation did the right thing there. He wasn't able to grab the red armor, but he waited around, um, you know, almost out of view. He ate just a little bit of splash. But, uh, actually, he could stay and get the kill. There it is. Nice job there. Um, but yeah, by by sticking around with a railgun and just waiting for the uh, basically laying a trap, uh, he was able to do damage really quickly uh, as soon as that red armor was picked up. So uh, you always want to try to punish your opponent for picking up armor. And um, devastation definitely making a smarter play there. Uh, he he did die, but now of course uh, when when he uh, uh, eating that rail that puts him in a really bad way because now going to yellow is kind of a telegraph move and death row might make him pay and might tie this up we got about uh 20 seconds left to go so let's see if death row yeah he's gonna come in for the kill so right now devastation doesn't have anything he just ran out of uh cells and he will go down so you got to watch your ammo counts death row picking up the mega and is in position to win this as he also picks up red Tied up just in the nick of time for Death Row. He's got the stack too. He's looking to be aggressive at this point. Nice rocket jump up there to grab that yellow. Uh, it would have been even nicer if Devastation made the jump because then he would have had a nice little ambush there. But uh, no dice for Death Row there. He's still got the stack uh, and position on red as we speak. He'll be waiting for. He's gonna be sneaky sneaky. Oh, what a great prediction, Rocket. Amazing, amazing there. Luck? No. He heard him, and that's going to be another quick spawn frag, and then the pickup of the Mega. Uh, it's looking real good for Death Row in this overtime here. Yeah, and a very nice uh, comeback for him. And folks, that is why you should never ever give up in this game, because, uh, <laughs> well just ask, just ask uh, yeah. Maddox about comebacks. Eight frags, two minutes, I, I no honestly problem. Thought, I honestly thought Devastation had uh, the... Not only the lead early, but I, I thought he had the uh, uh, superior aim and strategy as well. But you know, a couple of lucky things happened for Death Row, and then all of a sudden Death Row's looking like the the pro player, and Devastation's on his heels. Impressive. Oh. And of course, at this point, you know, with the two-minute overtime, it it might be possible to uh, you know to come back here. I mean, Death Row is really weak, but you know, we're looking at about 40 seconds and four frags. That's pretty tough. Uh, you would need a nice string of, of uh, I'd say, at least two spawn frags to do it. And Death Row's done uh, this. Some great rocket. It's a great defensive play by Death Row. Um, uh, holding on to that lead in the overtime. Yeah, yeah and, and, and he also uh, basically did enough damage uh, with those rockets to push Devastation back and buy him enough time. Because at this point, you're not going to get enough spawn frags to close that gap. Devastation shaking his mouth. I think he might be a little bit frustrated saying, oh man, I had this. It just slipped through my fingers. And here's the buzzer. And 10 to 7 is going to be the final score. We have uh, two impressives from Death Row, three from Devastation. Accuracy is at 25%. Devastation, best weapon, rocket launcher. Death Row is sitting at 31%, and uh, best weapon being the lightning gun. And uh, we're going to be seeing who the next challenger is. It is Vicious. And for those that are new to King of the Hill, this is how it works. We run duels for about uh, three hours tonight. We start at 9 p.m. Eastern every Wednesday. And uh, we basically run until midnight Eastern. And 
The winner stays, the loser disconnects, and we just keep running challengers until we declare a king at the end of the night. So last man standing gets to wear the crown. We're going to go live right here with uh, Death Row and Vicious on House of Decay. Mega and two of the yellows are going to go to Death Row. Vicious is going to be stuck with um, a mere 50 armor and shards, but he gets a nice amount of LG watching out for a nade right in front of his feet. And Death Row comes out swinging and puts Vicious down. That early uh, nid there, somewhat lucky I might say, but uh, put Death Row in position to get that kill there. Oh, a double kill. Double kill. Both of them killing each other. Uh, that's going to make it two to one. Vicious is looking to come back here. Some nasty rockets are going to great rocket. Not quite take Death Row out. Oh, excuse me. All uh, the way around. Yeah. Excuse, I was watching Vicious. Yeah. That's all but, part uh, of the learning process. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Yeah, soon. but but honestly, that rocket had to count. Vicious was, was down to a mere 29 health, and uh, and it was the kind of you know that's the kind of thing where it's do or die. And Vicious in the clutch gets it done. He's been able to collect uh, two armors. Splash damage has knocked off most of that immediately though, and so now Vicious, smart move there, kind of getting position on the teleporter. He pulled the trigger a little bit too late, but he's uh, you know honestly. You never almost, well, uh, really you got to read the situation, but most of the time you never ever want to come through those teleporters and fall directly down into the into the mega pool um, early. Uh, in, in some ways I would say you want to you know, basically almost show up late. Like if it's a question of giving up position when your opponent is there, give up the mega rather than the position. The reason why is because as soon as you drop down there, um, you lose so much of the position advantage and you're just going to be punished for it. On the other hand, you know, yeah, you may lose the mega by showing up late if you're not sure of the timing, but then you can sit there and punish the guy that went and got the mega. So, you know, there's always a trade-off. Now this is about the biggest stack you could possibly have on Towson Decay, but a nice rocket's gonna take him down significantly. Uh, Vicious taking out the LG, getting some nice LG. Vicious down to three health. He's gonna try to fend off Death Row, ducking back and forth between the teleporters. Uh, he's gonna pick up a yellow armor and secure the kill. Nice move by Vicious there. Staying alive with only three health, grabbing yellow armor and making the kill count where it should. Um, but that said, Death Row responds with another kill. Some nice rockets by both players here. A uh, little battle for Mega, they both drop in at the same time. The Mega will go to Vicious, but uh, Death Row gets the kill nonetheless. You know, and, and one thing that's really cool about running King of the Hill every single week, or nearly every single week, I should say, uh, is that we really get a chance to see how players develop, and I think that Death Row has improved. Because um, even though you know, Vicious is winning right now, that's actually kind of what I expected. But the way that Death Row is playing, as long as, he's, as long as he can kind of slow things down, this would be my choice now. He could try to slow things down and uh, actually get Mega. He just got it, so now he needs to basically uh, get that item cleanly. He's gotten away, so he should try to stack up on weapons and and collect a few armors. Let's go take a look at Death Row. He has a uh, yeah, he's got a hundred armor, so now's a good time to go on the warpath. He should be anticipating that shot from Vicious, um, the, you know, given the, the time that he entered that teleporter, um, he should have been looking for that uh, that play by Vicious, so. Um, that was unanswered damage, and now, you know, he's, he, he should not fall down here. Yeah, basically, just stay up, drop in now, but he's pushed Vicious off, so he can drop in whenever he wants. Nice work there. This should be his frag. One more. There it is. Yeah. Well done by Death Row. And and, and at this point, uh, you know, Vicious did the right thing. He kind of backed away from that fight. He didn't challenge it up because he, he took a lot of damage. And Death Row, on the other hand, you know, pressing in here. Uh, yeah. Nice nice read. He, he basically kind of read where Vicious was going and cut him off. Um, it, of course, does take time to get up those stairs. And uh, Vicious, you know, basically knew he'd have the position. Now, at this point... He should be collecting and getting ready so he can challenge at Mega again. A little bit more health and he'll be in good shape. He's still down three frags, so he still has got some work to do. And I think at this point, once Vicious gets this Mega health, um, he will probably control the map for the remaining three minutes. Oh yes, he's in great position at this point. Oh god, but he gets knocked down quite a bit by a few more rockets there. He was really there with the stack. He was in position to control the map, like you said. But uh, Death Row has something to say about that. 
And you know, it's only a five frag game. Death Row's looking for ways to come back here. He's actually got the superior stack at this point, which I really did not expect about 20 seconds ago. I see this, he'll pro he might be punished for this. Let's see. Right there, it, just a lick of damage though. Uh, lucky, I think, that Vicious didn't have a rocket launcher out. 